So a lot of, you know, the, a lot of students ask me and, you know, I created a poll recently on our YouTube channel asking kind of what video uh, you guys would want to see next. And a big question is what is an efficient step one, a uh, dedicated study schedule? So I, I always say that, you know, you want to keep your resources very, very minimal. So I always suggest to my students over the past couple of years are only four resources. Number one, first aid. I always say that first aid has been around for a long time. That textbook is very, very good. Almost holds all the information you need for step two. Um, resource number two, Pathoma. Great uh, textbook for pathology, right? And connecting those two with the first aid will give you all the textbook and all the information you need for step one. Resource number three, uh, three is, you know, MD boost questions, of course, I have to say that, right? Our questions are more clinically oriented, right? And so it's gonna push you to think clinically. And most of my students that have been doing mainly or purely actually MD boost questions have done very, very well in step one and step two. And resource number four is some kind of note taking or note system. So you can either use MD boost high yield notes, uh, which is really good supplementation to first aid or kind of jot down notes as you miss questions or as you read something. But like I said, you know, Notes, a note is also a, a skill too, and it takes time to write good notes, but I would say making them brief and memory jogs are a key thing. So getting kind of those four resources onto a dedicated schedule. So usually I say on a dedicated schedule, most students are spending anywhere from four to six months of dedicated step one studying time. I would usually say the first four weeks, uh, it's gonna be very, very similar on a day-to-day -day basis, but you know, starting your day early uh, because the test you're usually going to take early. So, you know, for those late night studiers out there, definitely for sure, you got to change your circadian rhythm and, you know, wake up early and start early. But starting your day off at 8, 8 o'clock a.m., usually I say for an hour to warm up your brain, reviewing either, you know, MD Boost high yield notes or notes that you've written before to kind of warm up your brain. And then from 9 to 10, I usually say do a 40 question block on MD Boost that will allow you to you know, get into that 40 question mindset, which is kind of how the test is. And then after kind of that 40 question block, uh, I always say review it right away. And if it takes you, you know, it should take you an hour to do the 40 question block and an hour for you to review it, no more, no less. So keep it really efficient, an hour for an hour when you're studying for a block. So, you know, that's from nine to 10, 40 question block, from 10 to 11, reviewing that 40 question block. And then from 11 to 12, usually what I say is read 10 pages of first aid on a specific topic, like let's say cardio, respiratory, whatever it is, but you're going to continue reading that until you're done with that chapter. And then from 12 to 1, usually a good lunch break to relax your mind. Then 1 to, 12, uh, 1 to 2, get back on doing a 40 question walk. Okay. 2 to 3, right? reviewing that 40 question block. And when I mean these 40 question blocks, I want them to be, you know, MD boost questions, step one bank, randomize, you know, don't pick specific topics. And the reason why that's the case is because you don't want to veer off and get too, um, when you, when you see a question, you don't want to be influenced or biased that, oh yeah, I'm going to start off on renal. I'm going to start off on respiratory because on your actual test, you don't get that starting point. It's, it's a completely random question block. So you want to practice that from day one. And then after, you know, your, your review session from three to four, usually I say read another 10 pages of first aid. From four to five, I would say read the Pathoma chapter that relates to your first aid, uh, your first aid chapters that you're reading. So if you're reading cardiology, read the cardiology chapters of first uh, Pathoma to correlate with that. And then from five to six, have a good dinner usually. And then six to seven, usually I say is a catch up time. So whatever you didn't get done throughout the the day catch up there. And then from seven to eight, I would say read 10 pages of first aid for biochemistry. And that last kind of hour block, I would say is every day for at least two, three weeks, because biochemistry is a memorized heavy um, subject. And so definitely for sure, you want to get multiple, multiple repetitions. So you can kind of remember those pathways, those enzymes, things like that. And so you're going to do that on a daily basis. Um, but pick a day of the week, every single week to kind of test yourself and take a self-assessment on the MBME website, right? Your self-assessment test every week to see kind of your progression and your score um, and it, make it consistent. So it's every Friday or every Saturday, every Sunday, so that you have a week marker, right? Every week you have a number of seeing how you're progressing. 
and then you can make your tweaks along the way. But you should be able to always see that. And, you know, students are always so scared to take practice tests, but practice tests are your time to sit down and to say, hey, how close I am, you know, to getting the score that I want. And so practice makes perfect. Don't worry about, you know, getting questions wrong, right? Of course, when you get questions wrong, that's how you learn. And so same thing for practice tests. You got to take them to learn from them. So after, you know, doing that for four weeks, you should get through pathoma and first aid all one time. You should get through, you know, around a thousand questions or so on MD Boost. And then after those four weeks, usually I say the schedule changes a little bit. Um, you then start kind of reading for particular topics. So not just cardiology, not just respiratory, but you start picking out things like, you know, I'm weak in heart failure, I'm weak in resp uh, not respiratory, I'm weak in, you know, COPD versus asthma, things like that. You want to read those specific paragraphs or chapters or pages um, in first aid or pathoma. So you're really, uh, you know, getting down detailed oriented of what you're truly weak in and then increasing a little bit more of questions. So as you get close to your test, you should be doing about 120 questions a day and then reviewing, you know, an hour for an hour, just like you did before. So doing that schedule for, you know, anywhere from four to eight weeks, depending on how, you know, where you are in your study and your, uh, your dedicated study for step one, that's going to get you kind of to where you need to. And, um, you know, that schedule I have been allowing students to do for the past six, seven years, and I've had a hundred percent success rate or pass rate for step one. And, um, and then before when it scored, you know, most of my students were increasing their score by 30 to 40 points on step one when it was scored. So very, very effective schedule. And I highly recommend using that uh, with MD Boost because, uh, you know, it's proven to work.